the 3,200-acre W.K. Kellogg Biological Station in Hickory Corners is Michigan State University's largest off-campus research and education complex. It provides a very interesting entree to a field biological station that actually produces some of the most outstanding research at Michigan State University in ecology and evolutionary biology. KBS is a research and education center, but most of the education focuses on graduate and postdoctoral education on a year-round basis. The site also provides an ideal locale for research. Well, first and foremost, we have the land base so that we can set up experiments and, and we have people and equipment to conduct farming activities. This would be incredibly expensive to set up from scratch. So we were already in, in the business of doing agricultural research and we have people very skilled at doing the farming and we have the equipment and the, the experience. We have 25 years of experience down the road with our long-term ecological research project. This is a unique facility. Uh, it lets us test long-term processes like solar organic matter. It takes decades before you start to see changes. Fifteen faculty are based in six different departments within three colleges. We study plants, we study animals, we study microorganisms, and we study people as an organism. The questions range from questions about gene flow and gene transfer and how that affects the traits of individual species and populations, all the way to ecosystem processes that will affect global climate. For researchers at KBS, it's location, location, location. I think what's important for people to realize is there are this aspect of having proximity to field sites, the state-of-the-art researchers, but a really important thing is the long-term data sets we have here that can support incoming Michigan State University faculty who want to develop a question, ask something about dynamics, and we have those data records. And it's not just on the LTER project, which is a relatively young long-term project here. We have data sets that go back 40, 50 years on lakes and streams in the area, for example. The Kellogg Biological Station also includes the Kellogg Bird Sanctuary and the W.K. Kellogg Manor House and KBS Conference Center. Students at KBS are allowed to get their hands dirty as opposed to merely sitting in a classroom. I think that is the secret to success of the undergraduates who come here. We talk about how a summer at a field station can have a transformative experience on a student's life. We pride ourselves that we turn kids around. Touching and feeling a plant, seeing and hearing birds is very different than looking at stuffed specimens or dried plant material because you put it in the context of the habitat they're in. Having a student appreciate the effect of global climate change is very different when they're looking at the data record and seeing the parched and wilted plant community. Getting some idea of what that might mean uh, long term is very, very different. You can't do it with the movies. Michigan State University Ag Bio Research, changing the face of science.